Uh, today I'm uh, interviewing Bobby Shoebridge, who was a member of the 2nd 4th Motor Ambulance Convoy, which was an ambulance unit deployed to Malaya during the Second World War. They were not actually uh, attached to the Australian troops, they were under, under command of the British troops, uh, sent over there to supplement the uh, British effort. In fact, the vehicles were provided by the Brits. And, uh, but they were under uh, administrative command by the Australian forces. And uh, Bobby had an interesting time, uh, which I'll give him the opportunity of telling you all about himself. Uh, and he finally ended up the war in the isolated part of Mukden in Manchuria. But right now I'll pass to Bobby and I'll, I'll ask him to answer questions for me so we can draw his story out. Bobby, what uh, year were you born and where did you go to school in, in Hobart? I was born in 1921 and I went to school at the Hutchins School, Hobart, Tasmania. And Hutchins School was a, a, has a, a distinguished uh, oh, uh, back history, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, founded in 1846. Yes, yeah. And, uh, it's an all-boys school, Yes. boarding school. And when did you decide, what, were you, what work were you doing before the war? I was a motor mechanic mm -hmm. and uh, I served my apprenticeship and uh, worked my through, through the apprenticeship Yes. and uh, got my certificate. Mm -hmm. Now when did you decide that you should join, join the forces? 1941. Right, and, and that was in Hobart? Yes. Now, go on, please go on. A lot of my friends from school and friends from Tasmania mm -hmm. had joined the armed forces. Yes. Army, Navy and Air Force. Yes. And I felt if they had joined, I'd better join too. Yes. Now, were you allocated to a unit straight away? Not straight away, no. I was allocated to the artillery straight away. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was out in the Brighton camp in Tasmania. And uh, there was a major who knew my father. And uh, um, he, he got me with a prime mover, pulling a howitzer gun about seeing if I could back it and pull it about. That was, and then I did that. And then I, uh, I met another major who knew my father. And he said, the 2-3 MAC is being formed. Would you like to join it mm -hmm. as a driver? And I said, yes. Well, it was about a, only about a week and I was put on final leave and then, there, uh, then I, I went to Caulfield Racecourse in Melbourne mm -hmm. where we had a training camp and then uh, we went on a train to Sydney and we joined the New Amsterdam and uh, she took us to Singapore. Mm. And we got there, I think, on Anzac Day, 1941. Okay, 1941, yep. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you must have done some training. Uh, were you, uh, do you remember when you arrived at the wharf, mm -hmm. were, your, were these vehicles, the ambulance vehicles, there waiting for you, or did you...? No, no, no they went there. Um, um, we went from Singapore to Kajang. Which is near mm -hmm. Kuala Lumpur. Yes. And when we got to Kajang, there they were, ready for action. Yes, yeah. And there were some, a huge number, about 70 of them, was that correct? Or? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what training did you do? Were, were you training with the Brits during this period, or were you training with Aussies that were there? It was a combination, as far as I know. Yeah. I can't yes. tell you for sure, mm -hmm. but I think it was a combination. Yes. Because we did route marches up and down the, through the rubber plantations and we did all sorts of doom on the big, had been a school but we took it over and uh, we did all our training on the parade ground of the 
school. Yes, and that was in Kajang, was it? No. Uh, yeah, Kajang. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go forward now to the 8th of December 1941, when the Japanese invaded Kota Baru in the north, mm -hmm. we around between that time and the end of January, what were you doing? I was driving in ambulance most of the time, mm. but I also, <coughs> we ran out of petrol, mm. so that's when they put me onto the mum and Harrington mm -hmm. carrying the petrol, yeah. and I had to get the rubber the petrol out of rubber plantations. Yes. And uh, then I took an ambulance up to the Burma, the, the Thai Malay border. Yes. In a place called Greek. Yes. Uh, yep. We were at a place called Greek, and we were there connected with a, an Indian brigade. So you were actually part of Operation Matador at that stage. That's right. Oh. <laughs> mm. Who was the? Was the? Were any of your doctors up there with you? Des Brennan was. Was he? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, Major Robert Dick. Yes. He was a CO. Yes. What about Captain Parsons? What was his role? He was a transport officer. Yes. Mm. But um, I think, I don't know how it worked out. It was all sort of, you know, army regulations, you know. And mm. A lot of my reg my orders came from Dr. Des Brennan. Yes, yeah. And, uh, he said, you can you can go on duty getting the petrol. Uh, yes. But, yeah. Mm. Now, uh, so you were involved in the fighting withdrawal down the Malayan Peninsula, were you? Mm -hmm. uh, transporting the wounded, well, they were British and Indian yeah. soldiers. And some of ours, not many of ours. Well, there weren't many Australians up there at all, were no, there? No, they weren't yeah. Emas. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and, and say if you're up near the border, where did you evacuate them back to? You, is that asking a bit much? I'm trying to think. The town, I can't think of the name, but it's a little town near Butterworth. Yes, and, yes. And uh, there was a sort of a, a building they'd taken over and made mm. it a casualty clearing station as far as I can tell you. Mm. you know. What was your impression of the British forces during the withdrawal? I think they did the best they could. I've heard that we were outnumbered, mm -hmm. but I don't know whether that's true or not. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but, uh, um, they were doing their best, and that didn't matter. Yes. They had Bren guns going absolutely flat out. And, yes. uh, we had our own artillery. And, uh, there was a friend, uh, not a friend, a chap I knew called Arthur Watchorn who got the MC mm. and uh, he knocked out quite a, well, three or four Japanese tanks mm. uh, just before the Mule River. Was he, was he in the, uh, the 4th Anti-Tank uh, Battalion, was he? or? What, do you know which unit he was in? I think so, but I'm mm. not sure. Yes. I yeah. met him once at, um, at the, one of the marches oh, years ago here yes. in Sydney. Yes. And, uh, Did you ever, uh, when, you, when you were bringing sick and wounded out of the battlefield, mm. uh, you know how they were blowing up the bridges to try and impede the Japanese following them? Mm. Okay, so you you were evacuating people. Uh, now, if we can, did you did you ever get over?